Okay. Derek Owens is the recycling coordinator for the city of Winston-Salem, and he knows from experience that a recycling cart with the lid ajar oh, okay. is a bad sign. A light bulb, styrofoam. Usually, it means the household is filling the recycling cart with garbage and other non-recyclables. Looking into this cart, it's clear that this cart is in violation. Essentially, household garbage, clothes, carpet, uh, plastic bags, um, it's too much trash. It's, it's essentially just trash. All of those materials create problems when the recycling trucks drop their loads at the automated facility that processes recyclables. Uh, Non-recyclables will often get caught in the sorters inside the MRF, which can result in jams. Things like wood could end up actually causing a fire uh, because of the uh, sorters. Uh, bags also uh, cause problems with the, with the actual equipment inside the MRF, and it just presents a problem. It affects productivity, and also there's no market for those bags at this time. There's also a financial cost to the city. Whenever you put non-recyclables in the stream, uh, because there's no market for them, they actually become uh, trash. And the city is responsible for paying for the uh, disposal of those non-recyclables. So whenever we have uh, non-recyclables, we actually uh, incur a cost. And of course, that diminishes the amount of returns that we would see from the rebate. So basically, the card is in violation, and I'm just going to pull it back. Now Winston-Salem is cracking down. Just leave it right. Households that are repeat offenders will have their recycling carts taken away. The policy is designed to educate those citizens that may not be aware that they're placing things in the stream that, that are non-recyclable. So on our first trip out and we discover that there are non-recyclables in the cart, we will leave a notification. We'll do that up to three, three times within a 365-day uh, period. If the resident does not come into compliance, we will be removing the cart. But even after we remove the cart, we'll make contact with the resident again, uh, try to educate them, and get them back into the recycling program. All in favor the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, no. That is unanimous. Thank you. The city council we'll unanimously approved the new policy. Council members pointed out the new rules are not aimed at residents who make an honest mistake. Uh, this particular tool is aimed at just the folks who won't listen. Uh, for the folks who are making good faith errors, we'll catch that through the education program. We'll help people continue to participate uh, at a high and even increasing rate. Yeah, and bear in mind, we're not talking about people that are putting in, uh, and I'll just use my example, one of these is recyclable and one isn't this one happens to be, this one isn't. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here are people that are throwing their trash in the recycling. And uh, it was mentioned last week, we've had everything from diapers to animal carcasses in the recycling. So uh, again, the blue is for the recycling, the brown one is for your household trash. We just leave the hanger on the cart and I'm gonna roll the cart back up toward our house. To make sure everyone gets the word, the sanitation division is publicizing the new policy and leaving notification cards at households found to be improperly recycling. For a list of what can and cannot be recycled, go to recycling.cityofws.org or call CityLink at 311.